Hey everybody, it's Krista, Ashley, and Corbin. We're here in the Puppy Playroom at Riverbend, and we have the Coco Tondrosco F1 Kitty Litter. This is our mini uh, Golden Doodles, and these guys are kind of just a rainbow of different uh, coat types and colors, and I tell you what, maybe some of the most uh, uh, original unique different. yeah different uh coats that we've seen here at riverbend in a while um i tell you what uh roscoe and coco did a great job with this litter and i'm super impressed with them one they're super calm they're super chill and two they just absolutely adorable they are well built they're well structured you can see that they're just completely all put together, everything fits right, and um, they're they're just amazing. They uh, their coats are really, 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 really plush, really soft. Um, they're starting to get uh, quite a bit of their furnishings in. Sometimes it takes them a little bit longer to come in, but I want you to look at this guy. Look at the coloring. Um, I'm thinking that we're gonna call this a black tri phantom. You see all of the uh, copper markings and then you see his white tips on his toes, the copper on his legs and on his uh, four uh, legs over here. It's got the black that fades in. Absolutely gorgeous little guy. And what did you say he weighed, Corbin? 5.5. 5.5. So he is a great size. If uh, you're looking for some, one that you can uh, load up in the car with you and, and take you take him on trips with you, going to the park, going jogging, going trails, uh, this guy is going to be your best friend, I think. So super calm super chill super trusting i feel no hernias and i see no uh overbites or underbites so that is our red male this is loco <laughs> <laughs> this is a little loco girl we have like one puppy in litter that either gets out of her collar or is an odd color so coco's coco's nickname is coco loco so she's yeah. like she weighed right at four pounds. Right at four pounds. And it has nothing to do with them being loco. It's just it rhymes and it sounds cute. So she has beautiful, beautiful furnishings, beautiful coat, very super soft, plush, little coat. She's a sweetie. And I want you to look at all four of those little white socks on her feet. And if I remember right, she's got that little wisdom patch soul little soul patch right there that was the name i was searching for was their soul patch and you can see the furnishings coming in on her ears as well and i feel no hernias and it looks like we have a great bite all right that is our oh cool oh puppy you just want to sit right with me, don't you? This is a lime green male. Okay. Look at this 3. guy. 4.3 lime green male. All right. This guy, as you can see, is again one of our super sweet little guys. He has lots of furnishings. He has a really nice, uh, super wavy coat. You can see all of his furnishings that are coming in on his legs. Nice little curl coming in here on his legs as well. I think he's going to have a really nice shaggy wavy coat. I want you to look at the coloring. This again is what we're calling a black tri phantom and possibly sable. I can't tell for sure, but I don't, don't really see the brown that I want to see to call it a sable. But black tri phantom for sure. Again, you see the nice uh, copper markings on his backside here. And then I was trying to show him that. There you go. 
And we've had a couple questions on, um, you know, curliness or waviness of coat on these guys. And they're really just kind of starting to come in into their coats. Yeah. Uh, but we don't have any, you know, question that they're in Oh, yeah. Or anything no. Like that, but. These guys are going to be really nice. That was our lime green male. This is our orange collar female. She weighed 3.8. 3.8 so she's a really nice size female um, you can tell that she's got a really nice build really nice structure she's good and straight and she also has a really nice party uh, colored coat she also has what I love is a little white blaze on her face and she's just got nice little black party spots all over predominantly white absolutely sweet little girl lots of furnishings coming in on her face nice shaggy wavy coat you flip her over and she's got cute little markings on her tail her feet look at those little spots on her little pads on her feet no hernias. Oh, and she's got the half stash. <laughs> and she has a little silver right there on her nose, too. Adorable. All right. That is our orange collared female. This is our white collared female. Oh, our white collared. She's just a tad bit bigger, not much. And now here is the sable markings that I was looking for earlier, where you see the little brown starting to come in over their eyebrows. She has beautiful copper markings on her legs. She has the four white socks on her feet, which gives you the black sable try. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous little girl. Look there. Folks, you just don't get coloring like this. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay with me touching all in between her toes. Okay with me touching all under her chin. I feel no hernias and it looks like we've had a good bite. So that is our white colored flax. Uh, try sable female. This is our purple collar female. <laughs> purple collar female. She She's 3.6. 3.6. She's another good size girl for a mini. She's got that half stash going on. Beautiful mask. Beautiful uh, uh, furnishings. Look at this wave that's starting here. She's a happy little girl. Got that happy tail. Beautiful, beautiful structure. You can hold them up. Absolutely trusting little guys. Super sweet. I'm telling you, these guys are gonna be able to go and do whatever you want to do. They're gonna go, they're gonna go fishing, they're gonna go golfing, they're gonna go jogging. Maybe not jogging a long ways, but they'll, <laughs> they'll jog with you for a while. They're going to be your best friend in the backyard if your kids like to go out in the backyard and play. Baseball, soccer. These are going to be your go-to girls and boys. And no hernia. And it looks like we have a really nice bite. All right. So who we got now? This is our yellow collared male, and he weighed six point two, so he's the biggest in the litter. Six point two. Again, I don't expect these guys to be like super big. I'm thinking, even though he weighs six point two, and he's probably one of the biggest good ones in the litter. I, if he makes it past thirty pounds, I'm going to be completely amazed. But. Uh, Again, you can see the super wavy, nice coat that's coming in. He has plenty of uh, furnishings 
on his ears. Look at his legs. Look at that beautiful. Look at this little spot on his leg too right here. So sweet. And you can see even in between his little toes, the coloring coming in there. Super sweet little guy. Doesn't mind being held. Doesn't mind being held up. Hi. And he's got kind of a little mustache too. I don't know if you can see it or not. Got a little mustache going on there. Yeah. I feel no hernias. I love his little blaze. He's got that little cute, cute blaze. And <coughs> has a really good bite. No overbites, no underbites. That is a yellow collared male. I want his. I didn't mention this. I just now realized that I did not mention very much about how um, they have that super little teddy bear look going on with the short muzzle and... Yeah, their the, faces and head oh, yeah. shapes are ideal. Oh yeah, beautiful heads. Absolutely gorgeous. So, again, this is our yellow collared male. Coco time Drosco. F1 BBs. Yeah. All right. I think that we've made it through all of them. Um, again, pick day is Saturday. Saturday. And we're at fifth pick on these guys as well. So there's nine, uh, no, seven, seven total. We're at fifth pick. So you still have plenty of time. If you're interested in this litter, who is over here? Okay. Look at this little white colored male right here. <laughs> Who's after me? Who is this? This is the red colored boy. But um, so yeah, plenty of time to get on the list still. www.riverbendkennels.com. Go to uh, the puppy application page, fill one out, send it in, and as soon as. Uh, Corbin gets it, then he'll be able to contact you and he can get you on our depositors list. And of course we just have two spots left. And there were how many boys and girls? There were four boys and three girls. Four boys, three girls. You guys, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong in this litter. So, all right, well, I think that we'll probably call it a night and get these guys back to bed.